Welcome to Dexter Plays Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville, a game by Sarah Northway and Northway Games. Welcome back to Rebuild 3. We're uh, finishing off a couple of things here. These guys are moving around. I'm pushing people out. I think we, we, we just captured that. We did. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I noticed that I can go talk to Kathleen over here, and I'm going to do that. Who knows? Maybe I can bring her over, uh, over to the dark side. And we're going to grab this. I want to stack some people up and start dropping these guys. But you're getting in my way, buddies. Actually, now that you're doing that, let's go ahead and grab this. And that. I'm glad I killed that off. Okay, there's no more zombies there. Can I just... No, that's bad news. Let's drop everybody here. Thank you. Now can I get you? I can. Let's do it. And we're doing lots of uh, capture. Ooh, Gustav has taken inventory when I met up with him. He twiddled his mustache. Kathleen! Yes, I see you spend much time with her, but my payment box is empty. Just like before. Maybe that girl is trying to cheat me? I explained that she wants to leave the caravan and little Meg rented. Well, it is not that she is prisoner, you understand. It's just... I'd pay for that girl's food and bed and bodyguard to keep us safe. I need return on my investment. Then he rubbed his fingers together. Um, I'm not going to seal her away. I'm, I, you know, I'm just going to, hey, come on. It's in your best interest. It took a little bit of negotiation, but Gustav eventually agreed. It was better off leaving Kathleen with us. The disaster story she told us of her previous clients helped to convince them. She wasn't really cut out for that line of work. In fact, Kathleen seemed to be a skilled builder and artist. We happily accepted her into our fort, just so long as, she said, I get my own bedroom. Uh, you sure about that, Kathleen? Uh, just saying. Ooh. Reclaiming this big farm is like five jobs in one. Disposing of the dead, avoiding the undead, hauling materials, constructing the wall, and lunch. Didn't expect that the last step to be the dangerous one. While I was taking a break, a man suddenly stumbled out of a barn and fired two shots over my head. I think he missed on purpose, but I dove for the ground anyway. Confront him. That didn't go so well. I got closer so we could talk face to face. I figured if he could just look me in the eyes, you know, he'd understand I meant him no harm. But he returned that gun on me and I reacted, grabbed his arm, forcing them upwards, and he blew his own head off. That was an accident. I feel terrible. I don't know what to do about myself. I guess I'll just have to finish that wall now. <laughs> Jump in there. Go for it. Thank you. Grab that. You guys can just start grabbing what's left. Wow, that's taking a long time. Do I have anything wrong here? I don't. Nice. Injury healed. Okay, you can jump in that grip there. Builder, Kathleen. Hey there. She is a tool expert. Absolutely. A uh, shovel? That's scavenging. Guess she gets a submachine gun and a multi tool. And you, my dear, can come over here and grab this last piece. Thank you. And you guys can come and scavenge that. And what's Dex up to? Dex is finished doing his thing, so I'm going to put him in this stack. Wow, I got everybody in here jumping this, this mob, and, and it's still not enough. All right, you guys go in there. All right, now let's take a look here. Do I have everything along the wall? No. I'm going to put turrets up on everything along this wall. <laughs> Scavenge. Thank you. On our way to killing zombies, we passed an utterly wretched, twisted man lying on the road. I took him for a corpse at first, but he stirred begged us for some food and water. I guess he's just keeled over from exhaustion. There's something odd about him. He's got an old, big old... Shopping cart with a blanket over it. No, you can give them food. Sometimes they rob you. He had eagerly the shopping cart turned out to be full of propane. He gave us some. 
Yeah, sometimes it turns out that he robs you. But, you know, I have faith in humanity. I'm not going to let that change me. Alright, um... So you guys are going to come over here and build a turret. He's down there, so scavenge that. And that's the last zombie bastion. It's fitting that it should be a zombie mob in there. How many left? 45 zombies are left in there. Alright, you're done there. That means um, I need to start creating some stuff. Let's go over here. Uh, let's turn the movie. No, I'm going to keep the movie theater. We're going to show movies. Ah, yes. Let us change the graveyard into a church. Same for you. Graveyard to church. Now that's cleared out. You guys can come down here and capture that. Thank you. So now that we're done killing stuff, I'm going to start relocating things up. Let's see what else I can do. I think I've got a pile of space, don't I? Yeah, I got a pile of space. So I'm going to start turning some of these Motel 6s and stuff into. Ooh, take time off, really? That's. Never done that. That should one day. Alright, I think you're finished, so you guys can come over here and continue to chop wood. And in the meantime, let me take a quick peek and make sure there's no... Nope. Alright. There's Gustav. Let's go talk to Gustav. Oh boy. Go ahead and have the body. And the Kathleen would like to be... Oh, you're taking Kathleen with you? Damn you. I hate that. Another church. I might just turn this whole area over to church row. Make it easier for me to turn everything under when I'm done. Hey, you need anything with stuff? Ammunition? I'm a little low on it, but you know what? You can always have my token one ammunition or so. There's your up three. And how am I doing on resources? I'm doing pretty good on resources. An assault rifle. Huh. I suppose I'll have to take it. There you go, Gustav. We good? I think that might have done it. Let's take a look at the factions. Gustav. 98? Really? God, so close. So close, but so far. Alright, I got a pile of churches here. I don't know how it is that I can't possibly start be converting people like crazy. And up here, you guys do infinite ammo. You guys do an ammo. Very good. Got Peter, you went up a level. Uh, preacher? So, I'll put you in a church. Peter. Here, you go down here and do some leadership stuff, because you're a preacher. You start preaching to the masses. All right. You can start pouring drinks, and I'm just going to throw bodies. I'm going to throw these guys along the border. I don't need to, but, you know, it's more of a, ooh, higher, higher muscle. I don't have any place to destroy. Pick something to hurt. There? Ooh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, it looks like it looks like you had an accident. Here, let me help you out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so that's horrible of me. I hired Gustav like an assassin. I feel like I'm playing some kind of political game now. What a mess. Oh, there's a place I haven't scavenged yet. I should do that. So this is the Border Patrol. Nope. Discard. Thank you. My suburb. 
now i mean i don't know what happened but I, I'll, I'll be willing to take the risk the next time you never know what can happen just looking out for your safety all right how are we doing on cultist conversion eh well at this stage i just have to keep this thing up to max speed First date. I've noticed some of the other survivors here making me come hither eyes at me lately, and I'm not sure it's totally appropriate since I'm their leader. I'll call most of the shots around here. It might be... You know what? I think I want... Actually, Kara. She's got a pretty big gun. You know, any girl could ha carry a gun and, and wear pearls. Uh, you know, might just work. Uh, let's do a thrilling adventure. Took her to the zoo, found at the edge of the city. Someone had let all the animals out of their cages, and now they roam the grounds, letting survival of the fittest take its course. We were frolicking with the rabbits, clear winners in the outbreed everyone else category, when a tiger pounced out of the bushes. I jumped up, gave it a stiff kick in its sensitive nose, and the big cat screeched and leapt away in search of easier meal. Kara was impressed. Yeah, because I'm badass like that, I'm just saying. Hey, look, Cassandra, let's get an alliance going, shall we? Oh, nice. Wow, that was fast. She's not ready for a book, so let's go on a date. Let's have, um, have dinner together. That looks good. And what else shall we do? So now I can get Dex down here to work on the Alliance. What the? Okay. Sh what shower rationing? Play in water during the first years. Reserve water for bare necessities. No, no, no. We got unlimited water. I mean, we got a, a water treatment plant. Everybody gets to have water. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting bodies going devout. Finished with the defenses. I'm going to just top off on my research while I'm here. And what is this? Do melee training. Anybody else need it? How about you? Simone. Simone needs... He's a camper. And we'll send over the builder and the materials for Mother's Nature. Small earthquake gave Hope a shake yesterday. We're all okay, but the church over in the Chosen One's port was badly damaged. There you go. It's all fixed up for you. Least I could do for my future ally. And there's... Nice, get better scouting. Like, I don't need it anymore, but hey, you know, spotting spies, and then we'll do fireworks. And there's the lights. We all gathered around the fort. So we gathered at City Hall for the Alliance. An alliance, we're going to share hope with the Chosen Ones, for better or for worse, in sickness or in health, drugged or not drugged. Please, uh, peace and a little support, too. They promised to send us regular shipments of food. So they're going to got food, and I got materials. I'm all good. Cassandra stared deep into my eyes and held both my hands in hers. It was a very intimate and a little weird. Now we are one, she said, loud enough for everyone to hear. And I hope, and hope belongs to both our people. The other uh, Church of the Chosen One members walked around the crowd hanging out garlands of flowers and people's, uh, boy, a little speech and thanked Cassandra and everybody, hugged everybody else. Very nice ceremony. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel conflicted sometimes with you, Cassandra. Kara doesn't like it, I'm sure. Alright, wedding bells. Well, here's something the zombies can't stop. Irist and Angel have fallen in love and they want to get hitched. Yo, let's throw a crazy-ass party. Everybody go go nuts. Woohoo! Have fun! Alright, let's go talk to Gustav. I have much need for the materials. 
Well, I got some materials for you, buddy. But I'm not going to give you a bunch. Here, have a little bit. And let's see, am I into your secret stash? I am not into your secret stash yet. Holy crap. Give me your ammunition. And get out of here. Get the road. One, one faction for that? God, Gustav. Are you still store that took Kathleen away? Man. Alright, so you guys are still good. Um, let's throw them in there. There we go. And I'm at 19% still, huh? I can't take part, but the other boys can. Because, you know, Carl wouldn't be a, wouldn't like that. Saboteurs become visible. Weren't they already visible? Aren't these saboteurs? No, just raiders. Okay. Fireworks? Fireworks, anybody? And hands with his bike and his hunting gear. He's a soup. What? A superhero? What's that? Plus one to every skill and increase max level by one. Wow. Nice. Are you... Oh, you're devout. Former chosen one. There it is, right? Yep, there's the chosen one. But dang, that is nice. He might have to come with me next time. Who else? Who else? Anybody else? Well, I think we're doing pretty good here. We've uh, we've allied with both sides. There you go, Am. Reginald, take your take your your pistol or your bullet. Um, we've allied with both sides now, and now we're just waiting for our uh, cultist percentage to come up. Uh, see, there's another another percentage. Another guy went up. Invite him to stay. Uh, we were roasting some coyote meat over the fire, and we heard someone knocking at our front gate. Turned out to be a passing survivor. Had smelled our dinner. Yeah, no, no, you can come on and have some food. Yeah, see, look. Brought somebody else in. Mike decided to join us. Very good. Thank you, Mike. And you know what? I'm sure I've got a weapon for you here. Have a sword. Later, Mike. Well, come back and join me as Dexter plays Rebuild 3. Um, I might actually end up having to do fast forward on this uh, this round next uh, next episode because of the uh, just the fact that we're just waiting for people to convert. So, we'll see. Thanks for joining me. I think. Bye bye. Thanks for watching another episode of Dexter Plays. Please leave a like or subscribe and post any tips or tricks down below.